We're just weeks away from the start of a new school year and a bill that could help transform one of the most crisis-plagued school districts in New York State is still waiting for Governor Cuomo's signatures. One of the bill's sponsors telling CBS2 she's worried that signature may never come. Tonight, CBS2's Carolyn Gussaw is demanding answers. We have, if not the worst, one of the worst school districts in the United States. A passionate plea it's followed by a unanimous zero. vote and elation. The bill is passed. That was June. This is now. Months after a vote in Albany to bring first of its kind monitoring to the Hempstead School District, where for years fewer than half the students graduate, the bill has not been signed into law. Governor Cuomo, this could be the hugest part of your legacy beyond the parks, beyond all the other work that you do for our infrastructure, to be able to to save the lives of countless people. Bill sponsor Taylor Rayner Darling says she's learned the governor's reluctant to sign the bill due to its precedent. Money was not earmarked in the budget. $3.5 million to pay three part time monitors for five years. Assembly leaders have offered to foot the bill till it's budgeted next year, but the governor's staff says the bill's under review, along with hundreds of others. This is not run of the mill legislation. This is 9,000 children. Supporters call it a no-brainer. All the stars are aligned, and the one person who stands in the way of the fate of these children changing the course of the direction of their fate is Governor Cuomo. So I'm, I'm very concerned. Co-sponsor Senator Kevin Thomas isn't alarmed by the review. He's hopeful. Very hopeful, especially since his office did reach out to us and uh, expressed uh, um, great concern over what was going on in Hempstead and that he wants to try and help. A spokesman for the governor tells us the issues are complex and require a thorough and thoughtful review with appropriate input from the community and the elected board, which opposes veto-empowered monitors. We think it is first both punitive and political. It was done under the veil of darkness and secrecy. This district has made demonstrative improvement. Um, we've had our distinguished educator here for two years, so we've had monitoring. Supporters argue it sets no precedent. The Hempstead crisis is unique, decades in the making. Elected business and education leaders joining in support. If this legislation does not pass, I don't know what other hope there is for our children. Supporters are also canvassing the neighborhood with petitions, urging the governor to sign the bill quickly to get monitors in place before the start of the school year. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolina, and Gus off CBS 2 News. Hempstead school officials claim there was a 61% graduation rate this June, an improvement over the 37% rate just two years ago. To watch our CBS 2 documentary, 37%, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.